it's time we repaired another Apple Watch. This one came from a lot of tech someone gave me. I've done a few of these in the past, so I know it should be a fairly straightforward repair. In fact, I want to see just how fast I can do it. For those who didn't see the previous video where I received this smartwatch, it powers up but has a cracked screen with unresponsive touch. So all we should need to fix it is a new OLED display and adhesive for sticking the screen in place. Screens have come down in price over the years, but they're still around 50 American dollars. It's time to start the clock as I place this watch on the heat mat for 3 minutes, after which it's time to begin prying up the display. The adhesive isn't all that strong, you just have to get it started. I'm using a thin blade that fits in the tiny gap between the frame and glass. The main thing to watch out for is the cables connecting to the display, as they're not replaceable, we of course need them for our new screen. Six minutes in, and it's time to remove all power from the watch before we detach its old screen. Unlike most other screens on phones and tablets, the point of connection is at the screen through the use of ZIF connectors. Damage one of those cables, and it's the end of the road for your watch, unless you have some serious disassembly and soldering skills. But once the three connectors have been unlatched, the cables can be pulled free. With the screen detached, you can see that it's somewhat transparent at the bottom. That's kind of cool. But now it's time we cleaned up the perimeter of the watch, making it ready for some new adhesive. It's always a good idea to wear eye protection while working with glass, as it has a tendency to fly all over the place. Now it's time for the new adhesive. I purchased some pre-made, However, it wasn't cut correctly, so I had to run my blade around the edges to properly slice the adhesive. Once that was done, I could remove the protective film from the adhesive before applying it to the Apple Watch. Now comes the most challenging part, attaching the display cables. It's only challenging as of how small they are. This is a watch after all. I find it easiest to get them positioned in front of the connector and push them in using a spudger before closing the locking bracket. With that, it's time for a test. I'll reconnect the battery and power up the watch. We see an Apple logo, so our display is functional, but something's wrong, as it just switches off. It's unresponsive to a power button, or even having the charger connected. So I thought I'd try the tried and true method of turning it off and on again. So I unplugged the battery and plugged it back in again. However, even after doing this, it still isn't booting up. It has to be something with the new screen. So I checked the connections. The first and second ones look okay, but that third one looks like it's just out a fraction more, maybe a millimeter or so. So I'll detach it and reconnect it, hopefully resolving our issue. With the battery plugged in and a charger connected, we can see the Apple Watch now powers up. That's why it always pays to test before you seal up a device. I was worried the screen still had touch issues, when I wasn't able to shut it down, but everywhere else in the interface the touch was working fine. As it turns out, the OS was simply not letting me switch the watch off, as eventually I got it to work, and only after which I noticed that it had been greyed out when I was trying before. It's amazing how a quick and easy job ended up taking longer than you thought, as something didn't go quite right. And that's definitely the case here. But the good news is we resolved it and the watch can now be closed up, about 35 minutes after we began. After peeling back the remaining protective film from the adhesive, the display can be aligned and pressed down into position, attaching it to the frame of the watch. Now we can reattach the missing band and give the watch a thorough cleaning. For this, I'll be using some isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber cloth. Once clean, the last thing left to do is remove the plastic protective film from the new display. 
and we're done. So this is it, an Apple Watch Series 3 with a new display, taking a total time of around 40 minutes, and that's with prior experience. It's very likely a project like this might take someone two or more hours depending on their repair experience. But even after repair, you're looking at the loss of any Apple Pay functionality, but that's the price you pay to repair an Apple Watch device. I wasn't able to pair it with this iPhone X as it was apparently too out of date. It said I must update to continue. All of this despite the watch saying that it requires iOS 12.0 or later, with this iPhone X running iOS 12.4.1. So it's working, but I don't have a new enough phone laying around to actually set it up. And on that note, this has been a Hugh Jeffries video. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing and check out the restoration playlist for more videos just like this one. And if you're looking for any used devices, be sure to check out my online store, link for which is down in the description. That's all for this video, and I'll catch you guys next time.